Assalamu alaikum my friends welcome back with Amal's Cuisine it has been a long time uh, since I posted anything uh, Bismillah ala barakatillah uh, today I would love to share with you the very famous Moroccan couscous couscous is a very famous and traditional Friday meal that is prepared in every household in Morocco and outside Morocco uh, around the globe by the Moroccan families so today what we have is we have chicken we have carrots we have uh, onions one and a half onions i have um pumpkin i have zucchini two to three medium-sized zucchini i have parsley and cilantro and i have um i have cabbage and half size a medium size of cabbage so bismillah ala barakatillah i will start my day today inshallah i have a lot here don't get alarmed you can use just a little bit of the or or just depends on the major or on how many people is going to uh eat this meal uh, for me I'm gonna prepare it for my family and my friend and her two children so that's why it looked like it's a little bit too much but it really isn't and uh, welcome back and let's start for preparing couscous you're gonna need a pot like this which is called a steamer so my steamer look like this it's a pot this is what you need anything that is a steam this is the pot this is where my food will go in and this is where my couscous is going to steam in. So couscous is going to steam. I do use olive oil for my uh, cooking. So just a little bit of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use all vegetables. Now, bismillah, I'm going to put the Perfect. Ginger and tomatoes in there. And my fresh parsley in there. Now, now this is called the uh, ghee in English, but really this is uh, spicy butter that is uh, f made from the cow milk. And we use it a lot in Morocco, it's concentrated, it's really tasty and flavorful. I have one of a knorr flavor, which is chicken also. I got one tablespoon of pepper. I got one tablespoon of turmeric. And I got one tablespoon and a half of salt. I'm gonna 
fry my chicken with the onion, tomatoes, and parsley and the spices. Cover I have up a half size of cabbage. And this is how I cut it. Okay, bismillah. Now this is the cabbage that we uh, cut. This is how I cut it. Oops, and I'm gonna add it. Can you show the chicken, please? My chicken is frying. I'm gonna add my cabbage in there after I washed it into my chicken. And uh, by the way, because this is a long process, uh, my chicken is going to be done before the rest of my vegetables. When my chicken is done, I will remove it and continue cooking normally. All right. So I'm going to take this bowl. That's the largest bowl I have, by the way. I do need to have a larger bowl for my couscous. I have a little warm water with a with a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna use just a little drop of oil in my couscous once I pour it in here. And this is my second bowl now of warm water. You just make sure all of the tiny little bubbles. Couscous is took his share of the water. And uh, this is what I do. Some people don't. I do that. If you don't have olive oil, you can use uh, one tablespoon of butter. So I'll use a little olive oil for my couscous. That's it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna leave it for a second. can see how beautiful it looks in here my chicken and my uh, I'm gonna add my carrots for me to add gravy water so if you can see this is a, a nine cups of uh, a pot but I'm gonna add I'm gonna put in there seven so this whole thing right there it's almost to seven now I'm gonna let it cook because I'm gonna now add my steam up, cover it up. Soon my couscous is gonna be in here. My, my chicken breath and uh, couscous tagine is cooking, y'all, you see that? 
And now, transform. Yeah. Now this is my couscous. It's ready to go for steaming. Bismillah, la barakatillah. same thing again I'm gonna use one of my water bowls one normally you use your hands but this, but this is really hot so I am not going to use my hands So my chicken don't overcook. They are really cooked and they are ready. So I'm gonna cook them. Can you please get it out and, and, and I'm taking the chicken out because they are really cooked. Chicken cooks very fast. It's not like the, the lamb or beef. Last thing is, I'm gonna add my pepper and my zucchini. My zucchini cook very quick, so I'm adding my zucchini to my gravy, the couscous broth with the vegetables. That's the last thing. I'm gonna cover up my... And I have one small pot. I will, I wash them of course, and I will put them in there. Now to this little pot, I'm gonna use the gravy for my, for my uh, couscous and let it boil together. Uh, I'll add this to my vegetables as well. I'm gonna take some of my gravy and add it into my chickpeas. Let it boil. I'll add that to my flavor, to my couscous in the end to decorate with, and it's yummy as well. It's optional. You, you, if you like, you can use it. If not, it's up to you. Let my uh, couscous steam one more time to the final stage. All right, my friends, welcome back. And this is the final couscous. Thank you, Thank you so much for watching. Please, for more videos like this, subscribe, like, share, and subscribe for, mo for more videos to come. I appreciate you guys. Please stay safe in this. You all, God save us all, and God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from Amal's kitchen to yours.